A very good morning to all. Looking at important headlines from the Hindu newspaper for 22nd August. On the front page you have Chidambaram arrested in INX media case after high drama. So he was held from his residence after making a surprise appearance at a press meet. So CBI has arrested former finance minister, the Congress leader P. Chidambaram. So this is INX media case in which he has been arrested. Details are provided here you can see. The bail has been denied as such. And this is Trump Kashmir, Trump Kashmir situation complicated by religion. So he says that he will do his best to mediate in the issue. So we have seen how he has had telephonic conversation with Indian Prime Minister, with Pakistan Prime Minister and before that too he has uh, offered that he would like to mediate in the Kashmir issue and he also claimed that Prime Minister Narendra Modi asked him so. That all is there. So, Prime Minister Narendra Modi and US President Donald Trump are going to meet in France on the for the G7 summit. On the sidelines of that, they would be meeting. So, you know, further discussion may also take place. Then below you have Dalit protests turn violent in the capital. So, the Bhim Army chief along with 50 others have been detained. They were protesting against the, the temple demolition. So, this is Guru Ravidas temple in the Tublikabad forest area which uh, you know has is been demolished so the Bhim army was protesting against it and this is no plan to curb social media that is what the Madras High Court has said it has said it that uh, there was it was absolutely not interested at any point of time in addressing the plea made by two PILs to link Aadhaar or any other government authorized identity proof with social media accounts. This uh, case has approached the Supreme Court too and the, the petitioners have asked the Supreme Court to look into the matter. The social media representatives, the, the advocates had made such a plea in Supreme Court. The case has been heard in the Madras High Court. So, Madras High Court has now clarified that it had no intention to allow linking of Aadhaar with social media. So, it was never considered. And then this is cleaning services on trains will be hit. So, the southern railways is facing a fund crunch because of which cleaning services may also be hit. So, these concerns have been raised now. We already seen the budget has been merged. So, general budget and the railway budget come together. So, there is no separate railway budget from now on. Then this is fossils show Kutch desert was once a forest. So, Kutch presently it is a desert. But the fossils which had they have been found here. They, were, they said there were giraffes, rhinos, elephants and giant crocodiles in this region. So, this shows that it was a forest at one point of time. Then on page 3 again you have the coverage on front page news regarding the Das temple which has been demolished in Delhi. So, protesters are demanding Ravidas temple be rebuilt at the same site. On the editorial page, the first editorial is content management. Courts must let government work out a balanced regulatory regime for online content. So, this is regarding submissions in the Supreme Court on behalf of Tamil Nadu government regarding linking social media profiles of registered users with the Aadhaar numbers. So, of course, this is not well founded in law as it stands now. So, courts must let government work out a balanced regulatory regime for un uh, online content. They cannot have Aadhaar linked. So, this is the detail of this is provided here how Aadhaar as such which is a unique 12 digit number it is used for subsidies and welfare benefits so that linkage is understood and section 57 of Aadhaar act has been struck down by the supreme court to the extent that it authorized body corporate and individuals to use the number to establish someone's identity so it has already been struck down in the Aadhaar case by the supreme court then this is crisis in Rome so, this is regarding Italy's political crisis which we saw in news yesterday. The Italian, Italian Prime Minister resigned and he uh, indicted his interior minister as the one who has uh, resulted in this uh, fall of the government, the coalition as such is the interior minister. It's a coalition government and the interior minister wants fresh elections to be held. So, it is said he is uh, putting the economy in peril, the country in peril for his own personal gains. Then this is state breaking is not nation making. So this is regarding Jammu and Kashmir. So it says in Jammu and Kashmir demotion, every code, principle and constitutional sanction protecting federalism has been violated. 
which is completely against federalism. You cannot make a state into a union territory. Imagine such a thing happening to any other state in the country. So, so citizens get affected too. Their uh, political rights get affected. And this is a politically inconvenient data nugget. So this is data on demonetization's contribution to deepening economic slowdown. So it says this data has been suppressed. Means demonetization has a played a role in economic slowdown. So this is a politically inconvenient data. Then on open page you have sacrificing liberty for national security. So this is regarding unlawful activities prevention amendment act. So this uh, act has been amended recently. You can see. So uh, the, these amendments are so that they can arrest anyone who is uh, against the government. You can see it was an act passed by the Indira Gandhi government and its political justification then was to deal with cessationist utterances of the Dravidian movement. That is the case but now presently the amendments which have been done, they are far reaching. You can see the amendments which have been done to anybody can be declared as a terrorist by the central government, the home ministry and, uh, and you know, the arrests can be made. So the government has the right to decide. And even before the Supreme Court convicts that person, he is declared as a terrorist by the government. So, the government takes these rights. So, of course, these are scary and threatening provisions. He's, uh, also, there are provisions that he will have a right to appeal. But, of course, once he is declared terrorist, not by a judicial body, but the executive, by the home ministry. So, that is the case. Then, this is the risks of legalizing cannabis. So, commercialization of cannabis can be dangerous. It's a growing movement in the West the, that cannabis should be legalized and uh, similar voices are being heard in India too. So the risks of legalizing cannabis. Uh, cannabis is a drug you know, which is used uh, in bhang, ganja, charas, hashish. So it's, uh, it is having mentioned in Ayurvedic texts also for treatment of several maladies but then there are concerns with respect to legalizing it. On page 12, you have Enforcement Directorate CBI alleged illegal FIPB not. So, this is regarding the case against P. Chidambaram. He was the finance minister and he said that uh, and the case against him is that illegal approvals were given in the INX Media case. He was FIPB, Foreign Investment Promotion Board. So, the finance minister has a hold over it. So, during his tenure, he gave illegal approvals here. And the, and the company which is involved is of his son. So, through shell companies, such approvals were made and kickbacks were received by his son. So, such are the allegations in the INX media case. And below you have panel to study corporatization of Ordnance Factory Board. So, OFB, Ordnance Factory Board, which is the body which is related to defense, you know, defense production. So, the government is set to form a high level committee to examine the aspects of corporatization of OFB. This is being considered now. So, there are apprehensions from employees that there is an attempt at privatization. But those apprehensions have been rejected. But corporatization is being proposed here. It is a Kolkata headquartered body. It has 41 factories spread across the country. Then on page 13, you have coverage on the Kashmir issue. So, senior Congress leader Salman Soz, who was under house arrest for 10 days in Srinagar, has said that if peaceful protests are allowed in the Kashmir Valley, crowds would be far bigger than the ones you see in Hong Kong. And he says that uh, his guards had become uh, his jailers. He was under house arrest. And this is uh, President of Afghanistan, Hamid Karzai, saying that India should be wary of a US-Pakistan deal. So there are these concerns that US-Pakistan may come up with a deal. Pakistan is required by USA for the Afghan peace process because Pakistan has a hold over there, uh, has a connect with Taliban with which USA is negotiating in Afghanistan. So, if US-Pakistan deal comes forth, then India should be concerned is what Afghan Prime Minister is saying. Because again, Afghan uh, President is saying, because again, Afghan government is not involved in US-Taliban talks on Afghanistan, which is again not to the liking of the Afghan government. And this is Army Headquarters, Rijik gets Rajnath nod. So, Defense Minister Rajnath Singh has approved certain decisions on reorganization of the Army Headquarters. So, this it will have a separate vigilance cell and a body of human rights. These are some of the changes which would take place in, in the army headquarters. It was in news earlier too. 
on international page this is regarding how the Italy coalition government uh, has fallen the prime minister resigned this was in news yesterday too the editorial is also on this issue and this is the coverage given here and this is trump snubs denmark over greenland so us president has cancelled his planned visit to denmark after his idea to buy greenland was debunked so he was planning to buy greenland which is a huge island in the northern region which belongs to denmark so usa would buy greenland Greenland resident said that uh, it is not for sale. So Denmark has made it clear. So now US president has cancelled his planned visit to Denmark. Now here this is Sudan's civilian majority ruling coalition uh, ruling council sworn in. So Sudan has also seen protests for uh, transition to democratic government, civilian government. So now civilian majority ruling co council has been sworn in here. Then on business page you have CB simplifies norms for foreign investors. So at a time when foreign investors are selling Indian shares in huge quantum, CB has simplified the compliance and operational requirements of FPIs, foreign portfolio investors, to make red, regulatory framework investor friendly. So it has scrapped broad broad based criteria. It has eased know your customer rules. Then below you have. Economy needs larger push. So this is RBI Governor Shaktikant Das who says that demand is clearly slowing down and investment is losing traction. So there is a need for a large push to the economy, to boost the economy. On page 16 you have Centre to ease approval process for mining leases. So Centre is planning to scrap the need for state governments to take an approval from the Centre prior to granting a mining lease to companies. So this is what the Union Coal Secretary has announced. So mining law will be amended so that states do not need to take permission and the mining process is eased. So these are the important headlines. For detailed coverage of current affairs, you can visit our website ahr.com. Thank you.